Manga Wido. My name is Satoshi Takata. I'm a college student that works part-time at a bar to help pay for my tuition. I work five days a week, so it's pretty tough, but I have never been late and never miss work. On the contrary, we got a new part-time worker about three months ago who is always late and occasionally just showed up without saying anything. Everyone was struggling to deal with his shenanigans. Ugh, Sonia is late again. People who are actually hardworking end up having to make up for his mess. Why don't we just fire him already? The part-time lead, Maki Aihara, was serious but a little headstrong, so she usually doesn't take crap from anyone. Sone was an entire hour late when he showed up greeting everyone with a terrible attitude. We don't have that many people on shift today. You need to show up on time. Shut up! I had something to do! Then you should at least let us know when you're going to be late. Yeah, whatever. Sony ignored Ihara's pleas and headed to the lockers. The manager's always trying to handle the two arguing, but he was unable to fire Sony as he was in a personnel shortage. That day, I was cleaning the kitchen with Sony, and then... I started YouTube recently! When I submitted a video that was a little controversial, I got so many views! I already have 10k subscribers! I'm a popular YouTuber! <laughs> he started bragging about his YouTube channel. What do you mean controversial? If you're curious, you should watch! This is my YouTube channel! Subscribe! When I opened my line, I saw a message from Sone. Alright, I gotta record after this, so thanks for cleaning! Hey, wait! After I got home, I opened my PC and started working on my homework. Whew! After I finished my homework, I was rolling around in bed when I remembered Sone's YouTube channel. Maybe I'll take a look. It featured videos such as, I ding dong ditch an entire mansion, and I bought two baskets worth of food and actually returned them all. <laughs> what the hell? When I looked at the comments, they were mostly just comments condemning him, but there were some people who were spurring him on and laughing at it. Who would possibly find this entertaining? A few days later, during my shift, hmm? Sone suddenly started recording in the kitchen. He ordered beer, but he's drunk, so I filled it with ginger ale. <laughs> Sone filled a glass of ginger ale and went to the floor with the glass. Eventually, he came back and played the reaction he had recorded. Man, beer is seriously the best, isn't it, bro? <laughs> this is hilarious. He was holding back his laughter. It was so pitiful that I couldn't think of anything to say. If they found out, he would be in trouble. If anything, I had hoped this would lead to his termination. However, he kept stealing food from customers' orders, serving raw meat, and recording his time on the job. Ihara, who is normally in the hall, came into the kitchen and noticed the act. Uh, what the hell, Sone? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I don't know what you're scheming, but you're such a pain in the ass. Okay, okay, whatever. God. After my shift was over, I saw Sone in the locker room. God, she's so annoying. I'm gonna make her hurt a little. <laughs> he went out after mumbling that under his breath. Hmm? Couldn't really hear him, but did he say something about hurting her? Maybe he meant about Ihara? I got a bad feeling about this. However, I had my exams right in front of me, so I didn't have a shift for three weeks. I was worried about her, but when I told her, all she said was, Don't worry about me. I'm okay. I had to trust her. I was so curious that I was watching his YouTube channel during my breaks. I knew that his channel would be the easiest way to see what he was up to. He had a video about how he stuck bugs into girls' bags that annoyed him at work. I stuck women that was annoying me at work. <laughs> The content was heavily censored, so it was not to get a strike, but it was clear who it was. And at the end of the video series, he had a video titled, The End of the Girl That Annoys Me at Work. This is so bad. I messaged Ihara, but all I got was, don't worry, I'm okay. Is she really okay? I was worried, and then I got a call during my study break. It was from my manager at work. Takata, Ihara actually has to go to the hospital because she was injured. I don't have enough hands on deck, so is it possible for you to come into work? Ihara's in the hospital? Okay, I'll try to make it, but what happened to Ihara? According to the manager, Ihara had just shown up to work when she fell into a hole that was dug next to the store. 
She had taken a bad fall and was carried by ambulance to the hospital. A hole? I asked the manager what hospital she was at and decided to head to the hospital for my shift. I saw her mother in tears, holding her hand while Ihara slept. Um, I go to the same school as Ihara and we go to the same university. How is she? Oh, thank you for coming by. She hit her head pretty hard. And she hasn't regained consciousness yet. I don't believe it. I had to find out what happened to Ihara for her and for her mother. She's not gonna... I went back to the bar after I'd stopped by the hospital. Sone was oddly already at work. Did you hear about Ihara? Insane, right? I was the first person to find her, but man, was I scared. It wasn't you then? Whoa, whoa, come on. Even I know my limits. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I ended my shift and looked at Sony's channel after I got home. He had uploaded videos every day, but for some reason, he had deleted all of the Annoying Girl at Work series of videos. You think that's enough? I went in for Ihara for two weeks. Morning. Sone, you got a sec? I called over Sone, who was late as usual. I started my own YouTube. You are right, this is super easy. I have a bunch of subscribers too. Really? You doing controversials too? He was happy at my announcement and he came in to talk. It's this. I showed my channel to Sone. The name of my channel? The Fate of a Terrible YouTuber. Huh? I played back one video. It showed Sone, alone, digging a hole right next to our workplace, mumbling something under his breath. You! What the hell? The video continued on and it showed Ihara walking towards the employee entrance when she fell into the hole and hit her head. Sony was laughing, recording the whole thing. He noticed that Ihara wasn't moving and the whole thing was crystal clear. You! Stop messing around! Delete it now! I could, but I'm sure one of my many subscribers has already saved it. My channel had well over 20k subscribers at this point. The video was still having an active comment section. Damn it! You said it wasn't you, right? If you had just admitted that it was you, I might have thought twice about uploading this, but you didn't admit it. You could hear police cars getting closer. You're joking! You must be Kazuma Sone. We've been receiving reports from all over the country to arrest you. You will be coming with us. Wait! Hang on! Let go of me! Sone was taken away by two police officers. After Sone had started bothering people at work, I knew that I had to start collecting evidence of his wrongdoings. The only regret I have is that I bought a cheap camera to record everything. I tested it while I was on break and recorded Sone. I made videos as well to upload to my channel. Ihara was the target of some of these pranks and I had her record some of them. Those videos were uploaded onto her channel. I know this because she also woke up with no lasting effects. There's still data in the camera, so use that. Thanks, Ihara. You just focus on resting. And here we are now. The rest was history. I uploaded the video and I recorded him being taken away by the police. I was praised by everyone in the comment section. Two weeks later, Ihara was able to leave the hospital and return to her job. Ihara, you good now? Yeah, sorry to make you worried. Sone, on the other hand, According to the rumors, he also pled guilty to all the other videos of his little pranks. He was put on parole, but his channel was in flames after they viewed my channel. Not only on YouTube, but there have been people who follow him around and vandalize his home. Apparently, he became paranoid and was thrown out of his own home for being too much of a burden. It was all his fault. If you want to re-upload videos, you should record how low a life you're living now.